This video is brought to you by Graphics Stock, the largest unlimited download library of graphics, photos and vectors on the internet. Okay, so today I'm going to make this concrete LED light cube. It is very simple, yet pretty striking, and I think it would make the perfect accent or night light. So let's get started. For this project, I'm going to be using these 5 volt LED strip lights. These are really cool because you can power them with a common 5 volt phone charger. Here's the regular 12 volt LED strip on the right for comparison. And there we have three lights in series and every connection is a parallel connection. Whereas on the 5 volt strip, they are all parallel with only one light and resistor per section. I'm going to be using a micro USB and these are really tiny. <laughs> This is what you need so you can plug any phone charger in. Now these have multiple pins because the middle ones carry information. But I only have to concern myself with the ones on the ends which are positive and negative. First of all I'm soldering the micro USB to some wire to connect to the lights. And they are so small and difficult to see. <laughs> Took a little while to get that right. But uh, this is what it looks like all connected. I'm also putting on some shrink wrap to completely protect the connection and the wire because this is going to sit inside the concrete. Okay, next up I'm cutting up some Lexan into strips and this is for the middle section of the lamp. I made them one and a half inches or 3.8 centimeters high and I'll leave the complete sizes of everything in the description. To frost the glass, I sanded the pieces with fine sandpaper, but you could also spray with frosted spray paint. Then I mixed up some epoxy and glued the sides together to form a square. Now let's move on to the concrete molds. I'm just using some scrap plywood here, so I've got some pieces cut up which I'm just drilling and screwing together. To protect the plywood from the moisture and make it a little easier to separate the concrete from the wood, I spray painted the molds with some glossy paint. Time to mix up some concrete. But first, remember this little micro USB wire? I'm putting on some tape on the connection end to protect it. Then I'm mixing up the concrete and this is actually mortar mix, which is smoother than traditional concrete and doesn't have the gravel and stones in it. So I've got two molds, one for the top and one for the bottom. First putting down a layer of concrete, then laying the USB wire down flat with the tape covered USB opening against the plywood. Then I put on some more concrete on top to fix it in place and cover up to the edge. But I make sure to have the wires pointing straight up in the middle. Then repeat with the top mold which is the same but without the wire. Then removing the tape which covered the USB opening and check so that the wire fits in right. And it does. Now I actually did this multiple times, experimenting with different witnesses. And I know dry concrete is supposed to be stronger, but I like the wetter concrete more in terms of looks. A little smoother. On my third attempt here, I also placed the Lexan square in the wet concrete to create an indention. And that made the plastic square fit better once the concrete was dried without too many gaps. Once I had the blocks, I sanded them. First I used the sander, but then I moved on to sanding by hand. And I also found that the blocks made with wetter concrete didn't need nearly as much sanding. They were pretty smooth already. So the next step here was to solder on the LED strip to the wire coming up from the concrete. Now to secure the lights in the middle of the block, I simply used hot glue. And I kind of glued the strips on top of each other into this tower thing. <laughs> To 
to make sure the concrete bottom doesn't scratch a table surface, I'm cutting out some rounds out of leather for feet and then just hot gluing those on as well. I also cut up some paper that I glued on the inside of the plastic square. And this is because I didn't actually want to see any of the individual lights and the paper dimmed it even more so there was just this glow. Once everything looked good, I epoxied the plastic square to the concrete pieces. And I also put some shellac on the concrete to seal it. And there it is! To turn the light on, you can either plug in a 5 volt power bank to make it portable and use anywhere, or you can plug in to any standard phone charger or your computer. This light uses about 2.5 watts total, and adds a really nice kind of ambiance to any room or shelf or table centerpiece. Concrete is such a cool material, and of course you could vary this any way you'd like. You could color it, make different size molds, do whatever you want. Plus it's really quick and easy to try different things and mix more concrete and just experiment. So what do you guys think? Would you change it? Would you do something different? I'd love to hear about it, let me know in the comments below. Now, I want to thank this video sponsor, which is Graphic Stock. Graphic Stock has the largest unlimited download library of graphics, photos, vectors, and images on the internet. Actually, you can find over 300,000 of these on their site, which is quite a bit. Instead of charging per image, which most websites do, sometimes that can cost as much as $30 per image, and that gets really pricey, Graphic Stock offers unlimited downloads with your membership. If this sounds interesting to you, you should definitely try out their 7 day free trial and then you can download 140 pieces of content. You can also sign up for their annual plan, which is $99 for unlimited access to over 300,000 images. Now all memberships come with a 100% royalty free agreement, which means you cannot get sued by copyright holders and you can use this content in your commercial projects, which is great. So check them out at graphicstock.com slash YouTube or click the link in the description below for your 7 day free trial. So I think that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. This was a really fun project and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Bye!